Hey YouTube, it's Merle again. Just going to share a brief tutorial on a new feature that has been released in the updated voice meter release. And if you look here under voice meter about, you'll see that I have installed voice meter potato version 3.0.2.1. I run the 64 bit version. Um, but this was just released a few weeks ago. I just didn't install it last week and I came across a new feature that may be of interest to you. Um, if you're a broadcaster, podcaster, and you want more, a more simplistic view of, let's say, the control panel, and this new feature can be found if you go over and click the start menu and type in VM streamer view and you'll see that right there vm streamer view if you launch that you will see that it basically launches this nice little simplistic application that gives you your inputs and outputs with sliders for volume and buttons to basically route the audio wherever you want to um, so this all the inputs and outputs mimic what's here in voice meter potato control panel in a more simplistic uh, easy to use I guess interface so as you can see here my go XLR mic right I've got that routed to B3 so right here you'll see go XLR mic routed to B3 B3 is my virtual output um, and let's see here yeah, it's uh, pretty simplistic. I can adjust the volume slider for that output to be three up and down. I can mute if I click this. That was muted, you could tell. Um, so that's an easy way to mute that input. Or you can mute the whole output over here. There you go. See, that was muted. You just push that button. I can adjust the volume right here or the input. Um, so if you're coming in hot, I can slide it down, I can slide it up. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little feature that they just released and, um, it's clean and easy and, you know, it's really pretty much, well, if you're just streaming, it's all you really need if, and, and you don't get, extra, don't get distracted, uh, with the other things. So one important note is that you have to actually name your inputs and outputs if they are not named, they're just default, then they will not show up in the VM streamer view right here. And just to go over that real quick, right, for the inputs, you come up here, right click, okay, and you type in a description, or you go over here to your outputs, you got to go down here low, right click, and again, you type in the description. If those are at the defaults, my understanding is they will not show up in the VM streamer view. So yeah, just a real quick tutorial to show you a neat little, we'll call it a feature uh, that has been added to the latest and greatest version of voice meter potato. I'm pretty sure it's in some of the other versions of voice meter. I use potato, so don't hold me to that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So hopefully you found this interesting. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Take care, YouTube.